Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm so excited. Excuse my naked face. We have some new products to test today. I'm very excited and I was good. I didn't even open the packages or package, phone package. I just went and got it in the mailbox and immediately came here and turned my phone on. So my face is this dry skin in winter does not mix and I don't know. I woke up with this weird dry patch on my skin and of course this is still trying to cooperate and then this little guy is wanting to say hello. Oh, I need some moisture. Okay, so I got a couple more things from Walmart and then I got a package from Ulta. I'm so excited they had a 20% off coupon so I went ham and went in there and got me some new things. I will be making another purchase on Valentine's Day when the new Morphe Sweet Oasis palette comes out. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so anyway, we're just going to get right into it. And I want to try on some of these products today, depending on how long the, it, the video gets. I may split it up into a haul video and then a try on video. Or if it's short enough, I'll just mush it all together. But we'll try to see if we can just mush it all together. So that way... You're not having to look at this nightmare <laughs> for the whole haul video. <laughs> okay, so uh, I got the, what did I get? Stuff all over. So uh, this is not a new product. Um, I've never been much of a, like I've never really, I've tried lip liner before. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm not good at it or just does it, make much difference for me I don't know but I'm trying again so I heard these were really good and actually y'all know I love the Maybelline lipsticks um so I got the Maybelline color sensational shaping lip liner in the shade 105 nude whisper I've already tried it a couple times and I kind of could see a difference not really I, I don't know I'm still undecided about that I've been trying that around a little bit it's just the nude color and I almost got two of them and I was like let me just get one to try right now um and then maybe later I'll get another color or if I just don't like it I won't get it but I've heard the next shade up from this is really good it's a pinky nude kind of color and it's what is it called this one's nude whisper the other one's purely nude that's what it was um but anyway it's just a lip liner and a nude color whoops very creamy as you can see it just I broke it this one of the first times I tried it very creamy. And it's pretty. I love a nude color. I didn't just smash it. No, it's okay. Um, but anyway, we're gonna play with that today. I got the um, crazy, what is it? Viral <laughs> uh, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I will say I tried the, Lash Sens the original Lash Sensational Mascara and I personally did not care for it. I could not figure out how to use it properly and I tried and I like looked up a bunch of videos and stuff trying to figure out but I personally um, did not care for it. It's more of a wet formula and I like more of a dry formula and I kept trying to play with it and I got so frustrated with it and I'm giving it to my mom. But this is the Sky High Mascara. I have played with this a couple times, um, but we will play with it now so you can see. Uh, so this is the original. Um, it's not the waterproof because I, you know, I do not prefer waterproof. This is the shade Very Black, I believe. Where is it? Yeah, Very Black. Actually, I actually had to go look for this a couple times. I went one time and it was completely sold out and I was going to actually purchase it in my Ulta purchase and then um, I, when I went to go pick up a couple things, I they had the very black shade and then it had blackest black but really it's, I'm sure blackest black might be the hingest bit more black but if you compared them side by side on your hand, are you really going to know a difference? I don't know but anyway, so we got that. We got the, these are new-ish. They're it's been a little while since these have launched, but I've always wanted to try these. These are the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I have the shade Pearl and the shade, oh, what are you called? What are you called? Ice. So Pearl is, as you can see, very shiny and glittery clear kind of gloss. 
um, pearly looking and then ice is a very very light new with no uh, really glitter in it and there's one more I wanted to try which was out of, I actually had to go a couple times for these two because I meant to go get them in my last Walmart haul and they were completely sold out so I went back again and these two were available and then the shade moon which is the third the next shade is supposed to be a dupe for what do you call it um Fenty's gloss Fussy? Fussy. Um, it's supposed to be a dupe for that. And of course, I've never tried it, but it's very expensive and I probably won't never try it. So, um, I got the dupe and we're going to see how pretty it looks. So, that's the little Walmart haul. So now we'll get into the Ulta haul. And I should have brought a pair of scissors. I actually was shocked it came with a little bubble bag, but okay. And actually, I got so many things. I don't know. <laughs> That, that's about it right there. You go to Ulta to go get, you know, a few things and spend a butt ton and it only comes out to be this much. Well, let me think. Oh, wait, I think I got it. Oh, good grief. Okay. Ah, we're in. Okay. Here we are. And as you can see, it is all kinds of goodies in there. I'm so excited. This is running. Okay, so first we're going to take our, our little paper slip. Nothing really, just the products on here. Okay, here we go. I don't know what to grab first. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. This is actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is the... Hold on a second. Sorry, Jack was... I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> anyway, put that back on there. That's not even... That thing wasn't even... Okay. So, this is the new Elf Camo CC Cream. I've always been a full coverage girl. I've never really went for a try to CC cream. I have been interested in trying the It Cosmetics one, which is this is supposedly a dupe for. Um, I just haven't made that big splurge yet, but uh, I'm, everyone's saying this is amazing and I really want to try it. I never buy... <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> you can't tell it's early in the morning. <laughs> oh, I'm struggling. But uh, I never buy concealer and foundation online. I always like to go do it in person. And I wanted this. That tells you how much I wanted this really bad. That it sold out everywhere. But I went on Elf's website and I did their little test. They said I would be shade Fair 120 Neutral, which would be the lightest shade. Um, we'll see. We'll compare it to... Uh, okay. It does look a tad bit lighter just right here. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll compare to that one, which I use every day. But, I mean, it might even oxidize a little bit, too. Because I've heard, like, CC baby creams can oxidize a tad bit, too. So, that's why I was scared to even attempt to try to go a different shade than what the lightest shade they recommended. So, actually, it's the lightest shade in general, too. So, oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So you look, you're already getting too long. Okay, so I needed a new, or not needed. I like to do, when I was in high school actually, I did waterline liner every day. And now I don't do it as much, but I still like to do it occasionally. Um, and I just have this random wet and wild one that I really don't care for. And I don't feel like, like it kind of does the job, but not as good as I would let, hope to. So I heard the uh, L'Oreal Infallible ones were really good. And actually, this is not the one that I heard was, that was really recommended. Uh, one of the YouTubers I watched recommended one of, a, it's a, the pencil one, I think, <clears throat> that said it was really good. But I prefer a retractable. I don't like pencils. I don't like because I don't sharpen them. So I just went with the retractable one. And we'll see how this works. Yes. And this is just the shade 591 Carbon Black. Yes. Okay. So I heard some good things about this. This is the, uh, this is Makeup Revolution, the mascara. 
I heard this is, some people don't like this because it, it's kind of clumpy. I actually like some clumps, but not too much. But actually, I remember this one. Soph, um, Sophie from Soph Does Life. Uh, she really likes this. And she's kind of my Bible mascara. More of a drier formula. A little bit of clumpiness is okay, but just not too much. And she really likes this mascara, and I really wanted to try it. I've been, I've, how many mascaras have I, have I bought recently? Let's see. One, two, three. This makes four. Did I buy another one? I have another one in here. Wow. Who my nose? What is wrong with I'm telling you, these, this weather, and then one day it'll be 70, and then one day, like today, it's going to be 30. It's it's really getting to me, and like, yeah, my, my, I'm, my body's freaking out. <laughs> I can't handle it. But anyway, I want to try this. I heard it was good. Because I trust Soph, our other mascara that I was really intrigued by and wanted to try was the e.l.f. Uh, Lash It Loud mascara. For some reason, it just seemed very interesting to me, and I really, really wanted to try it. It's actually crazy. Look at the difference here. This thing, this one is thick, and this one's about what I guess it would be average. What is this? Oh, yes, okay. What is her name? Why am I pulling a blank? It's a YouTuber that I've actually just recently discovered at uh, the end of uh, 2020. Since we can't go nowhere, how do you get into this bubble wrap? I'm here we go. And she uses this. It's a, it's a wet and wild um, bronzer, but this is uh, the Reserve Your Cabana shade. And clearly it's <laughs> not really a bronzer. And she uses this to set her under eyes. And I'm excited. It actually looks like a really, really light shade. I was wondering if it would be a little, a tad bit yellow, but it actually seems, seems kind of light. Actually, it almost looks like there might be a little bit of a sheen to it, too, which might be pretty for the under eye, too. Just a tad bit. Because I really don't like really matte, suck the life out of you. I'm dry skin. It just does not work. And this is huge. It lasts you forever. Of course, you can't really find this hardly no more. I think they might have discontinued it, but you can still find it. And you can order it on Ulta for the time being. And I think you could order it off their website, Wet n Wild's website. I'm not sure, but I think it would make a good little setting powder. So that's what that is. Is that sad? I forgot what was all in here. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. So here is, I actually forgot about those two. So in my Walmart haul, which we did not... Um, we swatched these, but we did not use them because I was waiting for the CC cream. We got the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. And then the we got the hydrating version in Fair Warm as well. The colors do not match whatsoever, but we got them to play with. And I also ordered from Ulta the white shade because I thought this would be great for um, like eye looks or something. Crazy eye looks. For some reason, it looks funny in the tube. I guess it's settled or something. I don't know, but... See the little bubbles? Or something? But anyway, I thought this would be really good for, like, colorful eye looks or something. A good thing to have. Because I like to set my eyelids with concealer. Because I'm weird. Yes, here is... Okay. So this is the Lipter Gloss in the shade Moon. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Fenty Gloss. And from the pictures I've seen, um, I would say that's accurate. It's very pretty. Can't wait to try that. There's so much makeup in front of me. And the very last thing. Excuse me. I don't know what I'm, my body is just not having it. The very last thing is a Revolution Bullet Lipstick. So cute, look at it. And so, and it's, it's got a little pair of lips on top. I love it. I wonder if that's like a, if all the, the shades are like that. And it's kind of the description of the color, just sitting up, so you can sit in your drawer. That's awesome. I really like that, if that's what that's for. So this is uh, the Makeup Revolution. I was going to see if it's okay. It's just a bullet lipstick in the same shade Chauffeur. This is, I heard this is a dupe for 
who said it was? I don't remember. I took a screenshot, but uh, supposedly this is a dupe for the Pillow Talk uh, lipstick. If I bought anything expensive, it might be probably a lipstick or something, something that I could keep for a long time. <laughs> But, um, if there's a dupe for it, I'm all about that. And I kind of, I don't know. The Pillow Talk lipstick was intriguing to me because everybody loves it and I'm just curious. Uh, but I'm not curious enough that I really want to spend all that money. <laughs> Although I have been contemplating, I ain't gonna lie. Actually, I was looking, I seen it, it popped up again on my Instagram. Because Instagram just knows I want it. Um, but, uh, it did pop up on my Instagram last night and I was looking at them again, but this is supposedly a dupe. It feels very heavy actually compared, of course it's more metal and I love the Color Sensational lipsticks from Maybelline and these are all plastic and I guess this is metal. It's so much more heavy or so much heavier, I guess. Um, so this video is already probably way too long. So we're gonna not do we're gonna do a different video for trying these on, but we will go through and swatch. Yes. This feels so luxe for Makeup Revolution. And Makeup Revolution is a like a very inexpensive thing. We you know drugstore brand, I feel like. Get off of me. Okay, this, this whatever this is is stuck to me. It won't come off. Okay. Whatever you want to call it. But this feels very, I would feel like luxe and like expensive. And I love the lips on top. And if all the shades do that and it represents the same shade as what's in the tube, I think that is genius. That is awesome. You can't see anything. Here you go. Here we go. Doesn't have a smell so far already. Here we go. Ah. Oh, it's got a little pair of lips. The little pair of lips yes it looks so cute it feels so looks like the metal I don't know this feels just like an experience is this what people talk about like the when you buy expensive name brand like you know expensive brands and like they're like you know the you get an experience because this feels very like I feel bougie right now and this is makeup revolution <laughs> Oh, me. What is wrong with me? And y'all, my hair is just... I don't know what's going on with my hair today. It does not smell. It looks matte. So we're going to do... Okay, so this, you know, is that liner. We're going to swatch it right beside it. Oh, the color is so pretty. I can't tell you for certain or not without a side-by-side -side comparison if it's a dupe or not. But I'll tell you, that is a gorgeous color. And actually, from look, from thinking about, let me say, pictures of this swatched, the Pillow Talk um, lipstick, I feel like this looks similar in color to what I've seen it look like. <clears throat> We're going to swatch. So this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Ice. So this is the more nude color. Oh my gosh, they smell incredible. This is, oh my goodness, okay. You can't really see much there. It's just a very, very light nude pinky gloss. Looks very glossy. So this is the ice shade. This is the lightest shade. And it's just like a clear gloss with a ton of reflect glitter. Oh, it's got the same smell. So this one actually basically looks the same, but this one looks more gloss. Ice looks more glossy, but pearl, you just see all them little glittery bits in there, kind of. Okay, so now we'll go in with the mood, mood, moon, moon shade. So this is supposed to be, so you can see it again. A dupe for the Fenty Fussy. Look, brand new here. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Mm. It looks so gorgeous. And this looks, I feel like, looks very luxurious too. 
Ooh, it's a pretty color. There it is. Very pretty. <clears throat> okay, let's swatch the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Oops, and I just destroyed it. So I'm hoping it matches because now I'm not going to be able to return it. Oh, gosh. This and actually, it's a lot bigger. I feel like it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. So it's a tube with a pump. Interesting. Where do I get it going here? Oh, okay. Why am I so nervous? I don't remember. That actually, I feel like will be, it feels really good. It feels very creamy. I actually have way too much. I wasn't expecting it to pop out already. It feels very creamy and like r thick and rich, if that makes sense. But I feel like without even putting this down, I feel like the color actually might be pretty good. See, that was what I was intending to do, but it did not happen. Oh my gosh, look. That color actually might be okay. Maybe, I don't know. It looks more crazy on camera. This. L'Oreal one might be a little bit, they're like off just the tiniest bit. Maybe we, we might, I think we can do this. I think, I think so. Although it's so funny on camera, this looks so much different. Or in person, they don't look that dramatically different. And I will say, so swatching this one, it felt very, like I said, thick. Um, like kind of and kind of consistency and like compared to the, the L'Oreal, it's very thin. And you can already see the L'Oreal one drying down. And the elf one is just like, you can look at it. Look how loomy and like luxurious and not look, what is that word? Not, just thick and rich how it looks. I don't know the dry, it's, I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. Let's compare the concealers I bought. So this is the e.l.f. Um, Camo CC Cream. This is the e.l.f. Concealer. So I think that might be okay. A tad bit light maybe. Alright, this is the hydrating one in the same shade. But yet it looks nothing even similar. Actually, it looks... Oh well. So that little dot right there is the hydrating one. That is the regular. It's the same shade. Which I heard that the same shade you know, didn't really match, but for some reason they looked similar to me in the store. I don't know, but that actually matches the foundation more. That's crazy, but you can see it. That's what we're gonna, that's what we got. That's what we're gonna use. So now I'm gonna swatch the white one. See what's going on. It looks like, that's crazy. I don't know why that looks so crazy to me. That booger white too. Look at that. Oh, well maybe I could even lighten it up like the hydrating one with this one too. Like mix it in just the tiniest bit. That's crazy. White concealer. Of course, I'm going to be the first one to say it. Like, I f I'm a very fair girl. And the reason I say that is because my shade is always either the first lightest shade or the second lightest shade and I know there's people out there lighter than me like I heard Jeffree Star talking about when he did his concealers he's got a white concealer and one of the girls was so pale that the white was actually her concealer color like I know I'm not the fairest girl out there but I feel like I'm fair because I say that because my shades always either the first lightest shade or the second lightest shade and even then sometimes I feel like they look like yellow and or like they look too, I don't know, they just don't look right. Okay, so we swatched out that. We're gonna take a look at this Sky High Mascara. And as you can see, it is bendy. I don't see the purpose of 
why that would be more helpful but I mean I do see what people are saying like when you do a regular mascara like it's 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 there that's just it and this is just like rubber almost there's what the one looks like it's very thin I've definitely never I don't think tried anything like that before <coughs> with a thin one but usually you know um, volumizing mascaras have, have just a thicker one and that's always what I go for of course that one's a lengthening and kind of volumizing but more lengthening so video's already gotten way too long and I can't get this this one didn't come off as good as come on let it go <clears throat> I hope this is a good looking video review honestly that's just what I hope for haha ha, here we go this feels very it's just a very chunky mascara here we go Let's see what it looks like whoo first of all look at all that product down there you can't even see the bristles holy cow see like there's the bristles and then look how much products right there Okay, so I feel like there's a lot of product in here. Wipe it off maybe a little bit. There we go, that looks better. Actually, to be honest, this for some reason looks good to me. Okay, after you wipe all that extra product off, like the wand and like the, for some reason, I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be a good mascara. I hope, I have really high expectations for that one for some reason now. <laughs> Just like, oh, that one looks like it's gonna be good. Look at me. Ugh. I'm trying to open the elf one. Okay, can't get it open. We'll open it from the bottom. So, this is the elf uh, lash it loud. As you can see, like, look at the makeup revolution one. It's just huge. Here we go. It's got a little bit of a thinner one too. Come on. Focus. Oh, you can kind of see it. They look very spiky and kind of plastic looking. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, L'Oreal eyeliner. I mean, it's just an eyeliner. I feel like I don't think nothing spectacular. As long as it does its job cool it does actually have a little smudger on the end which is nice okay so just your black retractable liner oh that felt look at that that went on like crazy press a little harder a little thing and that just went on straight black see let me compare you okay so you see okay make sure I don't smush this so you've seen how that just applied. Let me show you the random one I've had for, I don't even know how long now. It's so probably gross. Of course now it's going on. I mean, it's, that's better than when I thought I was fixing to swatch, but I usually have to like blow hot air on it and then put it in there because it just doesn't want to go. And so it's just better on my hand than it performs. We'll just say that. I'm excited for this. Okay, I think this is our last little swatch, and then we'll have to have a try on in a minute. If I can get the sticker off. Of course, this is just a, like a, I'm going to use this as a setting powder. Ugh. So this is the Wet n Wild Reserve You Can Brand a Bronzer. Obviously, this is very, but this is, I feel like. Wow. Oh, it, yeah, it feels very buttery. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to compare it to my other little powders here. I want to get a good swatch so we can see. Okay, so my favorite at the moment is this one by Revlon because it's the lightest I can find because I like a little bit of a brighter powder without being translucent 
So this is the Reserve Your Cabana, this one. This is the Revlon one. So you can see it is a, oops, tad bit lighter. We're gonna compare, I got this the other day that I've been enjoying. This is the uh, Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation that I've been using to set my makeup. It feels fantastic, by the way. So now we're gonna compare with that. Minus the little black Okay, here they are. So it's, hmm. The Revlon one is still, I think, the lightest one, just by a tiny bit. And then there you've got this one, which is just the tiniest bit darker. And then I feel like, oops, the infallible one is still, um, it's the darkest out of the three. In case you need a color comparison between the three. Now I have not tried this one, the new one, the Wet n Wild one on my face yet. But the Revlon one has been my favorite. It's the lightest tinted powder that I have been able to find to brighten up my under eye. It is the Revlon Blurring Powder in the shade 010 Fair. And then this is the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. It's just the tiniest bit darker. And then the Infallible. This is the lightest shade they have, which is Pearl. And um, it's the darkest out of the three. It's more so, I feel like once it... I feel like it might oxidize a little bit, the L'Oreal one, and so it turns out to be kind of more my skin tone instead of a brightening looking powder to make it brighter in this area here. So, just in case you need a comparison, if you're curious. Yeah, you can't see nothing there, so. Whoops! I just wiped that foundation on my favorite leggings. Woo. Okay, I did not mean to. Oh well, okay. Well, that is our little haul. Here's what we're looking with. The L'Oreal foundation settled. This is settling. It's a little bit, as you can see, the color is a tad bit different. I feel like that's crazy on my hand how orange that looks. I don't feel like it looks that orange on my face. I don't know. And then this is a neutral. Interesting. I'm excited to see how this looks on my face. I actually think the shade will be pretty good because sometimes I feel like especially I don't know I feel like I've been getting paler <laughs> with quarantine so I don't know hmm interesting the concealer actually I think the original will be a better shade match but I don't know how that's gonna look on my under eye being a dry skin girl but we're we'll see the lip glosses look gorgeous the lipsticks very pretty I'm excited all right, I'm going to go because this video is already at least 30 minutes and way too long and I'm going to try on all this stuff. If you want to see that video, it will come the week after this one goes up, whenever this one goes up. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. If you want to see the next video of me trying all this on, just come subscribe to my channel. Find it on there. It'll be right there beside it. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.